Hello YouTube, how's everybody? This is Bob, and today we're gonna make some delicious spicy Sichuan food, Kung Pao chicken. And here are the ingredients that we're gonna be needing. I got about six or seven stalks of green onion cut into small segments. I got about 80 grams of uh, fried peanuts. You can use any peanuts. You can use uh, planters, uh, Spanish peanut. And be a good idea to take the skin off, but it doesn't matter. And I got about seven grams of diced ginger, fresh ginger. I got about 50, about 50 grams, I guess, of uh, dried hot pepper. And I'll cut in these into segments. Got about three cloves of garlic, fresh garlic. You need uh, soy sauce. You need white pepper. You need cornstarch. Some salt. I got salt green right here. Just sea salt. Got some cooking oil. And uh, we're using uh, what do you call it? avocado oil. It's very good. You can use uh, Zhenjiang vinegar, a uh, Chinese vinegar. Any kind of vinegar will do. I'm going to use some uh, Chinese cooking wine. And uh, oh, I got some uh, green Sichuan peppercorns here. I'm going to use about half a gram of it. A little about a teaspoon for sugar. sugar. And of course, you're going to need chicken. I got about, I'm probably going to use four legs. You can use uh, legs and thigh, that'd be the best. I think I'm going to use about four of them for these. Peanut, these are fried peanut already been cooked. I just got these from a Chinese supermarket, but you can buy any cooked peanuts, fried peanut. Planter Spanish peanut will work perfectly. So I have uh, cut the hot peppers dried peppers into segments, half inch segments, and diced the garlic, two cloves, two and a half cloves. Now I have deboned the chicken, the legs, and took off the meat and uh, cut the meat into uh, roughly a half inch cubes. They won't be cubes, but... And then now I'm going to add the uh, Half half teaspoonful of salt, some uh, soy sauce. That should be enough. Maybe three tablespoonful. Some white pepper, maybe half teaspoonful, and then some cooking wine. Maybe uh, two to three tablespoonful. And I'm going to add some. Uh, I'm going to add a, heap, a tablespoon, a teaspoon for cornstarch, like that. And then I'm going to use my hand to squish it, mix it, mix it up. After it has been mixed, add some uh, maybe a tablespoon for two of uh, cooking oil, and mix again. And let it marinate for. Uh, Maybe 10 20 minutes. Now, to make the cooking sauce, I'm gonna add about uh, one eighth of a cup of uh, one eighth or half, quarter of a cup of uh, Chinese cooking wine. Add some uh, soy sauce, maybe three tablespoonful, little white pepper. Quarter. Add uh, some sugar. So I got about, actually, it's about, about two teaspoons of sugar. Sugar. Mix it up. And then uh, some cornstarch. Another. Teaspoon for maybe a teaspoon and a half of cornstarch and mix it up. Uh, 
got this. Some uh, vinegar. A little bit of Chinese vinegar. That should be enough. Maybe a little bit. That's good. And uh, mix it up. Okay, that's going to be your cooking, cooking sauce. So next thing I need to do is just fire up my uh, backyard jet engine of a uh, wok burner. There you go. You can uh, buy these uh, from eBay. I pay $99, but you can buy them for about 110 huh? Just search for 100,000 BTU walk burner, gas burner on eBay. So, heating up, I'm going to add oil, add this much oil to fry the, I'm going to fry the chicken first. That's maybe one third of a cup of oil. Wait until it's hot. And then I'll put the chicken in there and stir up and fry it. Okay, the oil is hot, so I'm going to add the chicken. Okay, now it's done. I'm going to take it out and set it aside. Now I'm going to get rid of this oil and put new oil on. Okay, now we're ready to cook the dish now. Add the uh, oil. Let it heat up. Add the uh, Sichuan peppercorn and uh, hot pepper. And fry it until it turns brown. Okay, and then the ginger and garlic. Then the chicken. The cooking sauce. Peanut and the green onion. Okay, turn off the heat. Smells good. This is Kung Pao chicken. Now a lot of people don't know what Kung Pao means. Kung Pao in Chinese is an honor title for a high government official. Only the highest government official who has done the emperor great service can be called Kung Pao. Kung Pao. And this chicken was named by a, by a very famous uh, Gong Bao in the uh, 18th century, 19th century, Qing Dynasty, who, uh, his name was uh, Ding Bao Zhen. 
He loved the way this chicken was cooked, so they named the chicken after him, Kung Pao Chicken. Thank you for watching. Bon appétit.